Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the law of sines and cosines. This video was requested by Danilo Mello, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin we have a triangle with angles A, B, and C along with sides A, B, and C. Let's go ahead and label the altitude H1. So we have two right triangles and we are going to use sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So looking at the right triangle, sine of angle B is equal to the opposite side, which is H1, over the hypotenuse, which is side C. Looking at the other right triangle, we want to find sine of angle C, which is equal to the opposite side of H1 over the hypotenuse of side B. So we have two equations, one with sine of B and the other with sine of C, but we want to have an equation with sine of A. So looking at the triangle, we have the base at side B and the altitude is going to be H2. Again, we have two right triangles, and we will use sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and therefore sine of A is equal to H2 over C, and looking at the other right triangle, sine of C is equal to H2 over A. So we have two equations, let's take a few more steps. Let's solve each equation for H2. Since both equations are equal to h2, let's set them equal to each other. Eliminate h2, and therefore we have c sine of a is equal to a sine of c. Let's move c and a to the bottom using algebra. And now we have the familiar looking formula of sine of a over a is equal to sine of c over c. But we're missing one more thing. So let's look at the two equations that we left off with above. And again, let's repeat the steps. Solve each for H1. Set them equal to each other. Eliminate H1. And let's move C and B to the bottom using algebra. So now we have two equations that have sine of C over C. Let's set them equal to each other. Rearrange the terms, and now we have the familiar looking formula of the law of sines. So let's go ahead and derive the law of cosines, and we are going to use cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. We have our triangle of A, B, and C, and the altitude is H1. Now the altitude is going to split side A into two segments. So the first segment has a length of x, Therefore, the remaining segment has a length of a minus x. Now, by the Pythagorean theorem, the sides of the highlighted right triangle have the relationship of x squared plus h1 squared is equal to c squared. Taking a look at the other right triangle, we have the relationship of a minus x squared plus h1 squared is equal to b squared. We can go ahead and simplify this second equation further. So a minus x squared becomes a squared minus 2ax plus x squared. Now remember that x squared plus h1 squared is equal to c squared. Therefore, we can substitute c squared into the second equation. Let's go ahead and find what cosine of angle b is equal to, which is the adjacent side x over the hypotenuse c. We can go ahead and solve for x, which gives us c cosine of b, and we can substitute this in into the second equation. Let's go ahead and rearrange the terms, and now we have that b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of angle b. And this is one of the cosine laws. We can find the remaining two cosine laws by using a different altitude, so we pretty much repeat the steps from the last example. Therefore, h2 divides sides b into z and b minus z. 
We use the Pythagorean theorem to define the relationship between the sides of both right triangles. We simplify the second equation and we substitute in a squared into the second equation. We find that cosine of c is equal to z over a. We solve for z and we substitute this into the second equation. Rearrange the terms and we have another cosine law. c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. In order to find the last cosine law, we define the altitude of h3, which splits side c into y and c minus y. We use the Pythagorean theorem to define the relationship of the sides of both right triangles. Let's go ahead and simplify the second equation. Substitute in b squared into the second equation. Cosine of a is equal to y over b. Solve for y. Substitute this into the second equation. Rearrange the terms. And we have the last cosine law. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. And so these are the laws of sines and cosines. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have a proof of your own, please leave a comment.